What's up, Fit Body Nation? So it's Monday. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna mix the routine up. We're gonna add all dumbbell work in today, focusing on toning and really just some weight training exercises. So make sure you got a set of dumbbells. I'm actually gonna be using three different sets of dumbbells, a heavier set of 30 pounds and then a 20 pound set and a 10 pound set. So besides that, you're gonna need a yoga mat, get you something to drink and there will not be a lot of rest. We're gonna have about 15 seconds to transition in between the exercises. Your metabolism is going to be jacked way up after this workout. The body is gonna be healing itself from the muscle breakdown. So that means your appetite is going to be skyrocketing while the body is burning off fat for the next 48 hours. So don't give in to those little cravings. All right, you ready to rock and roll? Let's do this thing. All right, you got your dumbbells? I've got mine. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start to warm up. Now I checked this timer beforehand to see what noise or beep it was making. And I think it's a guy that's talking. I've never heard the sound before. It had some weird sound effects in it. So who knows, it may beep, it may be like a boxer timing ring sound. I don't really know. Oh well. All right, three minutes. So with our warm up, we're just gonna loosen up. Let's start with some arm circles. I know, nothing complicated, nothing too difficult but we just wanna get everything loosened up for the weight training. Cause we're not gonna be really doing any cardio today. So reverse the arm swings, keep your palms up while you're doing this. There you go, that's it, good. Keep moving on it, don't stop. Now let's twist, get the abs loose, get the core loosened up. That way when we get to the back exercises, we're not pulling anything. There you go. So three minutes all together, just like normal, nothing crazy there. From this, we're gonna take it into some squats. So feet, shoulder width, straight forward, down nice and low, good. There we go, that's it right there, perfect. You got it, let's keep it up. Good, excellent, don't stop, you got this, come on, keep moving. And we will be doing some dips today in here. I'm gonna be using a ice chest cooler that I keep out here, so, if you need to get a chair or a bench or something like that, this is just a little warning ahead of time so you're not caught off guard by the workout. So, side lunges now, over to the side, right back up to center. We may even shorten this warm up up a little bit, maybe take a minute off of it. There you go, good. It won't have to be a crazy warm up just because we're not getting too insane with anything. Good, there you go. Keep moving on this. And let's go ahead and take it into reverse lunge, just so step backwards. We're gonna be starting with our legs, so I wanna focus on those, that way we've got the blood flowing to them right away. And as we work our legs, we're gonna be getting blood flow into the rest of our body pretty quickly. There you go. So hopefully you had a good weekend. Mine was pretty, pretty restful, it was pretty uneventful. My daughter and my wife weren't feeling the best, so we pretty much just stayed home and chilled. But that's okay, it's always good to have a restful weekend but hopefully this is a little more eventful. All right, let's take it into some jumping jacks. About 30 seconds worth here of some light cardio, and then we'll cut the, the warm up off. We'll make sure we got everything, so that way we can get this workout just to rocking. No interruptions whatsoever. There you go, good, keep it moving. And let's take it into a light jog. There we go, good. Get those knees up, perfect. That's what I'm talking about right there. Very good. And let's go ahead and relax. Okay, I'm gonna get an ice chest. Like I said. Okay. So, you should probably be able to see that. So for dips, we'll be using that. If you don't have an ice chest or something to elevate on, you can do dips flat on the ground. It's just a small movement, okay? All right, so we've got our official one minute rest time. So I've got my three sets of dumbbells over to the side here. Um, I'll be using 20 pound dumbbells for the most part. I try not to go insanely heavy because I'm not trying to build just a ton of muscle. I like to mostly just stay focused on speed and toning and there's no reason for me to build a lot of muscle, not with my goals. So that's what I'm gonna be using. You can use whatever you want. Now, let's see. We're gonna be starting with weighted squats. We'll spend one minute on those weighted squats and then from that, we're gonna be going into a reverse lunge, then a straight leg deadlift, hip raises, 
sumo squats. And then from there we'll go to chest, then I think it's triceps, back, shoulders, something like that. Okay, grab your dumbbells. Whatever size you want to start with, I'm going to start with two. You can start with one if you need to. We're going to be starting in five seconds, all right? So this one, take it slow. You don't have to speed through this. And, all right, yep, it, it sounds like a boxing ring your bell for rounds. There we go, all right. So, nice and low. Keep the weight on your heels when you do this. You don't have to speed through it. That's it, perfect. So down, nice clean rep, right back up. Now I like to hold my dumbbells to my side. You can also bring them up to your shoulders. I know for some people that's a little more comfortable. All right, and if you're just holding one dumbbell, you can also just hold it up in the center, just like that. Your choice, there you go. But depending where you're holding your dumbbell at, it will pull your body in different directions. So it'll actually focus the exercise in different areas of your legs when you're doing the squats, okay? I think down to the side keeps it pretty even and balanced. Weight on your heels. From this, we'll have 15 seconds to transition into our reverse lunge. Good, two, one. I'm gonna change weight. So for this one, that, that bell ringing is gonna get annoying. All right, I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. I'm gonna hold one dumbbell, just a little bit heavier. So it's a 30 pound dumbbell. And, all right. Here we go, stepping backwards. I don't know how I got on that sound. It usually just does a long beep or it doesn't do anything at all. This time it's, it's talking to me and it's doing like some clicks and tapping noises. Very interesting. All right, so keep stepping backwards. There we go, good. Same thing, you wanna do a pretty moderate pace. Definitely don't speed through it. Stepping back nice and far. There we go, good. You got it. Make sure you're breathing out as you're coming back up. There we go. And if you need to set the weight down, feel free. Go for it. Okay? That's going to be the best way to modify any of these exercises. I'm doing them with body weight only. Good. There we go. All right. We got about eight seconds left. And then we're going to go into a straight leg deadlift which I'm gonna go back to my 20 pound dumbbells. And relax. Okay, so those three bells, that's our rest mark. Okay, so straight leg deadlift, straight leg deadlift. Keep your legs perfectly straight. All right, going down, trying to keep your head up, and then right back up. This is what it looks like from the side. Head up, right back straight. This is stretch out your hamstrings which while we're working, when you do a bit leg deadlift, like we'll do later in the workout, that actually works your lower back, okay? Straight leg deadlift, that's for your hamstrings only. Good, perfect, you got it. That's it, 30 seconds left on this. Come on, keep it up. From this one, we're gonna be going into a hip raise, and we'll actually put a dumbbell on our stomach for that one, so it's weighted a little bit. You can also elevate your feet up if you want by putting them on a chair or an ice chest like that. 12 seconds. Okay, so I guess that's a 10 second warning on that timer. It does these three taps. So I think it's just like a boxing, boxing round timer. And relax, okay. So this one, the hamstring hip raise, you'll be flat on your back. I'm gonna use one 20 pound dumbbell and I'm gonna place it right on my hips. I'm gonna space my feet out away from the body. Here we go. So, you wanna bring your hips up, then right back down. Don't go crazy fast with this. Make sure you're holding the weight down to your hips so that way it's not rolling around. You don't want a bruised hip bone. If you really wanna make it challenging and step it up, you can put your feet on something that's elevated, all right? That will make it harder. Good or just add more weight to your hip as well. Perfect, that's it, you got it. Keep moving on this one, this one's great for toning the butt. Whoo, the lower body, there you go, good, that's it. Keep it up, again, I'm not flying through this, I'm getting a decent amount of reps, but nothing crazy. I'm just really trying to get a nice, tight flex on every single rep. 
Really good proper form. There you go. A few more seconds. Come on. It's going to ring any minute. Keep moving. And relax. 14 seconds. Okay, so the next one, it's a sumo squat. So for this one, works the inner thighs. Your feet are wide, toes are pointed out to the side. Here we go. You're gonna squat low. You can come back on your toes if you want. Kinda adds that calf raise movement in there. Good, you don't have to though. I'm actually not going to, not with this one. I normally do, but I'm not going to today. Good, that's it. You still want to keep the weight on your heels. You want to get nice and low. You try to squat down, almost touching your elbows to your knees. There you go, perfect. And if you want, you can hold a single dumbbell to the center of the body as well. I don't like that method all the time because I feel like it pulls me forward too much and puts a lot of uh, stress on my back. Not, not the case, but when you start to get tired, it definitely will. So I try to keep the dumbbell up to my shoulders on this one. Perfect. We got a few more seconds. There's our 10 second beat. Almost there. That's it. Then we're going into chest exercises. Good. And relax, okay. So now, we're going into chest press next. So you're gonna be flat on your back for this one. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna use my 20 pound dumbbells on this one. We got our chest press coming up. Two, one. Okay, so pressing them straight up. Bringing them right back down. Nice controlled motion. I'm trying to stop my elbows right before they touch the ground, okay? So they're almost touching, but not quite. That's it, perfect, you can do it. There we go. I'm gonna slide away from the wall a little bit. That's it, you got it. Don't stop on this one. I know it's a little bit slower today, but slower, heavier weight training days are very good. There you go. Maybe not all the time, at least not for my style, but every now and again, great to throw in the mix. Definitely easier though. These are a lot easier days. Good, keep moving on this one. We're gonna be doing some chest exercises for the next three or four exercises, and then going into triceps. There you go, good, keep moving. Keep those presses up. Almost there, we had our 10 second, uh, I guess, tap. Mostly tapping. <laughs> there you go, come on. And relax on that. Okay, so for the next one, it's gonna be a pullover and press. I'm actually gonna use one single pound, or single 30 pound dumbbell. All right, and for this one, start at your chest, go behind the head, touch the weight to the ground, bring it back to the chest, and press. Make sure nothing is behind you when you do this. You do not wanna smash your finger, okay? I've actually seen somebody cut their finger off because they didn't pay attention what was behind them, actually what was below them, when they went to set their dumbbells down and they got pinched between another dumbbell. And yep, finger came right off. Not a pretty thing, all right? So, always make sure you know what's around you when you're messing with dumbbells. There you go. So bring it there, press it straight up. Now, I like using a single heavy dumbbell because it actually puts more focus in the inner chest, getting a bit more out of it. There you go, good. When you use the two dumbbells, it makes it a wider movement and focuses on the outside of the chest. All right, keep moving on this one. Good, almost there. And any second, okay. So, we're taking it into a dumbbell fly next. I'm gonna move the mat away from the wall. So grab your dumbbells, we'll need two of them for sure. All right, start with them nice and high. You're gonna take them wide, bring them back up to center, okay? So nice and wide, right back up to center. Again, your back of your hands almost get to the ground, but not quite. Mine are probably stopping about eight inches away. Here we go, that's it. So bringing them up, right back down. Up, right back down, very good. Keep working on this one, come on. You can do it. This would be a good day to throw in some treadmill work after your workout. Whew. There you go, good. Get that good, good muscle and toning, definition building, and then throw in a nice 20, 30 minute treadmill run. Perfect workout for that. There you go, good. 
All right, 10 seconds left. Nice and wide. Keep your pace consistent on this one. Good, you can do it. Almost there. That's it. All right, relax on that. So now, what we're gonna be going into, I already forgot, we've got dips next. So for dips, like I said, make sure that you've got something to do dips off of. Ready? Two, one, here we go. All right, so keep your back pretty close to whatever you're using to do the dips off of. If your back gets too far away from it, you'll actually put a lot of stress on your shoulders and you definitely don't want that, okay? So stay pretty close to whatever object you're using to do dips off of. Keep a light, consistent pace. I guess not a light, a slower consistent pace. Good. If you want to put your part feet away, your feet farther away. I can't talk. It makes it a little bit more difficult, but not much. Okay? Whew. All right, definitely get some tight triceps on that one. All right, almost there. Let's just keep it up, don't stop. That's it, you got this. 14 seconds. Good. 10 seconds. Sounds like somebody's knocking on the door every time I hear that. All right, four, three, two, one. Relax, 15 seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna be going into triceps. I'm gonna set the camera back. And for this one, I'm gonna use a 10 pound dumbbell for kickbacks. It's gonna be single arm on the right side, bent over. All right, so kicking straight back, bringing the dumbbell down. Now notice my elbow does not move from the position. Only thing that's moving is literally from my elbow down to my hand. All right, you got it, that's it. Keep it up, kicking straight back, bringing it back down. Very good. Come on, you can do this. We've got about 35 seconds left. Just keep working on this one. After this, we're gonna flip to the other side, but keep it nice and steady, kicking straight back. I also like to add a slight pause at the top of the exercise and bring it back down. Slight pause, bring it back down. Good. Whew, I love tricep work. Might get real tight real quick though. Good, so that lactic acid is building up in there. Perfect, 10 second mark right now. Then we're gonna be switching to the other side. Excellent, you can go heavier with this. I keep it pretty light. And relax, 15 seconds. Okay, so now we'll be switching to the other side. Whew. And then after that, we've got one more exercise for the triceps. And then we're moving on to shoulders. All right, three, two, one. Let's kick it straight back, bring it forward. Same thing on this, make sure your elbow's not moving up and down. If your elbow is moving up and down, you're more than likely doing something closer to like a bent over row, which is actually hitting your back, okay? Not necessarily your triceps. You really have to isolate that tricep. All right, you got it. Keep it up, you got this, come on. So just gonna get our arms ready. Once we get past winter time here, back into that summer season, you start wearing those tank tops again. Wanted to get rid of that saggy arm. This will do it right here. All right, 24 seconds. Keep working. You got it, we got 19 seconds and counting. Almost there. There you go, come on, keep moving. We've only got one more exercise after this for triceps. Very good. Eight seconds left. Come on. Three, two, one, and relax, okay. So I'm going to use a 30 pound dumbbell for the standing tricep extensions. So for this one, you'll start dumbbell behind your head. All right, here we go. So dumbbell behind your head and you're pressing straight up, okay? Now, if you get to a point where you need to rest, just set it off to your shoulder and let it rest on your shoulder because you probably will get that way after a few seconds of doing this, especially since we've already been working on the triceps and it doesn't take much to burn them out. This is normally an exercise I would start with for triceps, but I thought it'd be fun mixing it up, make it a little more challenging and put it at the end. All right, good. But if you got a rest, it's fine. Just try to keep it very short. Then get five, six, 10 more reps out. Rest again if you need to, but don't rush through this. Ah, oh, whew, there they are. 
Good. Almost there. We've got seven seconds and counting. Four seconds, come on. Two, one, relax, okay. All right, couldn't even fit the entire workout on the pages. So now we're going into shoulders. I've got a shoulder injury, well, slight injury, an old lingering one, but we're starting with side laterals, so I'm going very light. All right, I'm gonna use 10 pound dumbbells on this, but you wanna bring it up about, I would say about to where your chin is, chin level, okay? and then let it go back down in nice control. So you're not dropping it, you're not swinging it. If you need to, you can alternate one dumbbell at a time. Just make sure that you're not swinging that either, okay? Good, keep moving. Now luckily for my injured shoulder on the right side, this exercise doesn't bug me too much. If I get really heavy with it, I can hear popping and I can also feel tearing, which you don't want that and I definitely don't want that. The next exercise we're gonna be doing though, front lateral, that one is one you definitely wanna be cautious of. It puts a lot more pressure on the shoulder than even the side laterals, okay? Good, 10 seconds. Perfect. But it's one of the best ones you can do for those front delts. So we're not skipping them. And relax, 15 seconds. Okay, so the next one, you can bring them up both at the same time or you can alternate. Since we're doing a, or since I'm doing a lighter set of dumbbells, I'm gonna bring them up at the same time. If I was going with 20s, I would alternate. All right, so up, right back down, good control. Notice I'm not just dropping the dumbbells down, I'm actually lowering them. At about the same speed, I'm raising them. You can see it from the side, up, right back down. This adds a negative to it, meaning you're having to work the resistance going up and the resistance going down. Perfect. And same thing if you're alternating. If you're doing a left dumbbell front lateral, then you're doing a right dumbbell front lateral, same thing, nice and slow. There we go. That's it, we got this. Cool thing is, after this one, we've got one more exercise for shoulders, then we're going to biceps. Perfect. That's it, you got this, come on. Keep moving, don't stop. 10 second mark right there. I don't know if you can hear that 10 second tap, but it's tapping every time. And relax, okay. So now, I'm gonna do the 20 pound dumbbells for our shoulder press. You can go heavy if you want, you can go light. I would actually prefer to go heavier, but I'm not. And I'm gonna alternate. Feel free to press them up at the same time or alternate. I just don't want to get sloppy with my form, especially since I'm trying to baby this shoulder a little bit right now. There we go. Good, so pressing up, bringing it back down, press it up, bring it right back down. Nice and controlled. And if you're doing them both at the same time, I still want you to keep them wide and bring them down. Nice and wide and bring them down. Good. That's it, you got it, come on. This will be our last exercise for shoulders. Good control all the way through. It's better to go slow than it is fast on this for toning. Good. Believe me, we got plenty of speed work coming up for our workout on Wednesday. We're gonna be killing some legs and hitting some abdominals, but it's gonna be our hit style, which I love. Good, 10 seconds. Almost there. Keep working, five more seconds. Good, come on. Two, one, and relax, okay. So now we're going into bicep work. We're going to be starting with a bicep curl, which means you're going to be curling the dumbbells up at the same time, okay? I'm going to use 20 pound dumbbells. Use what you need. All right, so bring them up at the same time, right back down. Good. Up, right back down. Going slow on this is the best thing you can do. I know you won't get as many reps, but you also won't cheat yourself and swing the movement. All right, you do not want to swing. If you start doing that, you literally will get hardly anything out of this exercise. All right, good. Keep working on this. There you go, so bring them up, lower them right back down, nice control, good and slow. Perfect, we're almost there. Keep breathing, that's it. Because with biceps, we've only got a couple of bicep exercises. We really don't need a whole lot for biceps. 
They build fast and it doesn't take a whole lot to shock them. Nine seconds. Good, five seconds. There you go. Two, one, relax, perfect. Okay, so next, we're gonna be doing a hammer curl. That means the dumbbells are gonna be vertical. I'm gonna do an alternate. That way the form stays perfect on this. When I start doing them both at the same time, my form gets sloppy. Okay, so, bringing them up, right back down, up, right back down. Good pace, not too fast, not too slow. Very good. That's it, excellent. Now I know some of you watching this, you do these at work with me a lot of times. Um, and I know for like the body weight exercise, stuff like that, that's easy to do. But answer me this if you're doing these at work. Are you able to do the dumbbell workouts like we're doing right now? Um, is that something that you're able to do? Do you keep a set of dumbbells with you? Or some like resistance bands or something like that? I was thinking that the other day. So if you do these workouts while you're at work or in another odd place, let me know if these are even doable. Whew, which if they're not, you probably don't even, won't even see this part of the workout, so who knows? All right, 10 seconds. Bringing them up, nice and controlled, coming back down. Good, two, one, and relax. All right, we've got bent over rows next. This one is gonna be an alternate row, so I'm gonna use the 30 pound dumbbell and I'm gonna do bent over rows 30 seconds on one arm and 30 seconds on the other. You can do two dumbbells at the same time if you want, but I wanna use something heavier. Good. So, since I'm using a 30 pound dumbbell, that's how I'm gonna do these. But if you want, you can totally alternate side to side like that, all right? Feel free. Good. You got this. We got it. Eight seconds left and we'll be at our 30 second point. Almost there. And then we've only got two exercises left and we're done with this workout for today. All right, 30 seconds right now. So if you're switching side to side like I am, make sure you switch. That way you get the full 30 seconds in there. Very good. All right, keep moving. We've got 15 seconds left on this one. Just pulling it up, right back down. Nine seconds, perfect. Almost through it, five seconds, two, one, and relax. Okay, now we're gonna do deadlifts. Now these are the bent leg deadlifts I was talking about earlier. All right, so this one you'll start in a squat position and then you'll squat lifting with your legs. Okay, here we go, so squatting now. So it puts a little bit of back in there and then it puts a lot of legs in there as well. That's why if you hear, lift with your legs, not with your back. That's what this is, it's proper form. Still hits that lower back, but it won't injure you. Okay, especially if you're using really heavy weights. Perfect. That's it, you got it. Drop that butt down, use them legs, use that lower back, there you go. Come on. Let's push through this because we've only got one more exercise after this one. Almost through it. There we go. All right, 17 seconds. Come on, we can do this. That's it, you got it. That's our 10 second mark right there. All right, keep moving. Good. And relax. Okay, next is going to be a reverse fly. This one, you can go nice and wide, squeezing the shoulder blades together. I'm gonna use the 20 pound dumbbells on this one. Go light, go heavier if you want. All right, here we go. So, you wanna be bent over, just like if you were doing a bent over row. Lock out the lower back, and then nice and wide with those dumbbells. There you go, get those shoulder blades. Good, I hear a dog barking. That's it, don't stop. Keep moving, almost there. You got it. We got 35 seconds and counting. There you go, come on. 25 seconds. Let's see if we get a few more reps out because this is the last ones we got. Then we're done for today. Come on, work with me. That's it, 15 seconds. 
Good. Come on. 10 seconds. Here we go. There we go. Five more seconds. Legs are shaking. Two, one, and. All right, Food Body Nation. That's it for Monday. Now, I know today it was a little bit slower than our normal pace, but like I said, even the slower workouts where you're focusing on heavier lifting methods, still great workout routines. Not something I personally like to do all the time because I get a little bored with them. Make sure you're back here Wednesday because we've got an awesome lower body leg workout and abdominal workout that I'm super pumped about, okay? And if you haven't seen it, you've got to check out my last Friday's video. I'll post it up in the corner so you can see it, but make sure you don't miss that. I think you'll really like it, especially if you've ever struggled with setting the New Year's resolution and then falling off the bandwagon, you know, a few months into it. Love you guys. I will see you back here on Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe, share, and like this video. I'll see you then.